guys, what is up? Iceman Runs one here, and today we're going to be showing a guide on the contract clause infernal mystery. So for this, you need 37 prayer. The only quest you need done is land of the goblins, and you need 29 archaeology, along with the uh, pages found in the infernal mysteries beforehand. So to start this off, I'm going to show the supplies needed. If you don't need supplies, skip to 8:55. So the first supply needed is a Toad Flax Potion Unfinished. Now this is going to be used to make a Goblin Potion, which is required for one of the Gargoyles. So, uh, that will get later. Again, you need Land of the Goblins to make that. The next is going to be Bacon. Just type in there. It's like 5k right now. Again, remember, if you already have the supplies, skip to 855. And we're going to start you off there. 855 is where we start the thing. So the next supply is red dye. And red dye. We will just buy in the GE again. Also, if you only need one certain sp uh, supply, I'll show you all the supplies time marked in the description. Next, you need something that can hurt you. Zamorak brew is the easiest. You can use one dose. I just bought a four dose, but you can use one dose. One dose. You just need something that can da uh, inflict damage on you. So yeah, if you only need one specific thing, go ahead and click the timestamps in the description. Besides that, we're going to go to the next one is Dragon Bones. Okay. Type in there, Dragon Bones. There you go. And then after this is kind of a complex one. So you need a type of beard. Now, if you've done the Rocking Out quest, then you can use the fake beard. If you've done the feud quest, you can use the desert disguise. If you've done a holiday event in the past, a Christmas event, you can use the Santa beard if you have that. And if you won the crate of fake beards on the Squeal of Fortune or Treasure Hunter in the past, you can use that. So I had, uh, I went with the Desert Disguise from the Feud Quest, but you can use any one of those four options. All of them work, and you don't have to worry about using that Santa Beard and losing it, because you don't lose it for good. He eats your other items, but this one, you don't lose. This one is completely safe. So next, you need a Shiny Cow or Bull. For this, you're going to teleport to the Ardoin Lodestone and run right over here. Go to World 2. And standing here, you should almost always see someone saying they're selling a shiny cow. Right now, that's about 2 mil. If you stand here for a second, you see one. I'm waiting, waiting. There's another option for this. You can use uh, three cows, a vanilla, chocolate, and a strawberry, but you need all three. With the shiny cow, you just need one shiny cow or one shiny bull. So it's going to what? Right there. Shiny cow, 2 mil. So I'm fine with paying 2 mil for that. It'll probably be cheaper when this video comes out, but 2 mil is about the price right now. So put in your 2 mil, hover over it, make sure to see right under that gender, it says shiny exclamation point. That's what you want to see. So if it says shiny exclamation point, there you go. That's what you want. And you're good to go. It can be a bull or a cow. It, so it can be three cows, vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry, or one shiny bull or one shiny cow. So, next you need a dog, pet dog. The easiest one to make sure you have is go to the Varrock Lodestone. So that's where I'm going right now. Go to the Varrock Lodestone. I'm going to talk to the Maggie, I think is her name. She's just out the Lodestone. May, sorry. Talk, open her shop. Make sure you have that Lorehound pet. I have it owned. If you have it, if you want to check if you have it, hit the customization tab. Go to pets. Hit uh, compan yeah, companion pets and type Lorehound. Lorehound. Now you're going to call that pet. Don't worry. Again, the gargoyle will eat your pet, but it's just cosmetic, so you're not going to lose the cosmetic. We'll just pop back up. So if you don't have a pet dog, it needs to be a dog. If you don't have a dog, go check that. That's the easiest one. Next, we're going to go to the Falador Lodestone. We need to get berries to make the goblin potion. So we're going to go to the makeover mage and follow me to get there. It's just southwest of that Falador lodestone. So you're going to go into Falador. 
as you can see there's a little block off there so you're gonna go into file and go to that building i just put on my marker so i'm gonna go jump over that broken thing uh i imagine most of you can do that i think you need really low agility to do that so i imagine most of you have the ability to do that so again that's the makeover mage um and you need to have done land of the goblins to do this so most of the requirements for this are really low and really easy to get done again a lot of people said you need rocking out to do this you don't actually you don't need any quest there you can do the feud quest and get the desert disguise or you can use a santa, santa beard from holiday events or fake beard from create a fake beards which is a treasure hunter reward so um now you're going to talk to the makeover mage she's hiding behind that letter for me hit talk to and you're going to hit the bottom option can you give me more farm berries i don't know how to say that word so i'm gonna go with farm berries skip through the dialogue there you go yeah berries use them on the toad flax potion i'm finished and now you have a goblin potion now we're going to go to lumbridge bank to get our last item we need some frog spawn so we need to go to the lumbridge swamps to fish them out uh, you can use gourmet impling jars there are common reward from gourmet impling jars the issue is gourmet impling jars are pretty expensive right now now the first thing you're going to do so you can just buy gourmet impling jars off the ge if you got a ton of cash and just open them you should get it within like 10 but i just was going to show you guys where to get it so you're going to go up to the lumbridge bank first and grab a lantern all right grab a lantern because you can't go into the lumbridge swamps well you can go but you can't survive in the lumbridge swamps without some sort of lantern so i went ahead with a bullseye lantern make sure it's lit and now i'm teleporting back to lumbridge just because i think it's a little bit faster than going the whole way back the stairs and running across it's pretty similar um so then you're gonna run south into the swamp most people know where the swamp entrance is if you don't that's fine i kept my um video in real time so you can just follow me along there i like to keep my videos in real time because then you can put it side by side with your game and follow me along i, I don't know the speed ups kind of annoy me sometimes when people do that because it's really hard to follow that along so follow this nice and easily uh, one thing I do recommend, if you, uh, I think I'll wait till the 8th, I'll tell you, Chaos Star. The Chaos Star requires 68 archaeology. It's an artifact found in the Inferno. So if you have 68 archaeology, get this artifact, restore it, and add it to your tor tool belt. It's extremely helpful. However, I'll talk more about that later. Right now, see that blue arrow on the screen? You want, that's where you want to go. Now, ignore i'm gonna jump cut to going there because i just cut the video out of me going there because i ran all over the place but that blue arrow is where you want to go and you run right here and you'll see a fishing spot make sure if you have a grace of the elves on you disable that uh banking function so the item will go to your inventory i messed up there the first time but i disabled it and this in a few seconds will get you some nice frog spawn all right there you go see frog spawn right there all right so now we should have everybody here we have all of our materials and we're getting ready to go again if you have 68 or higher archaeology get the chaos star which is an artifact in the infernal place and restore it and right click it and add it to your tool belt this is very very helpful because there are a lot of portals during this uh contract clause mystery and if you don't have that chaos star on your tool belt those portals can randomly have a chance at teleporting you to the wrong spot and this mystery can be a bit of a headache but it's not too hard if you follow if as long as you have these materials you'll be good to go so i'm going to go ahead and bank my lantern here just use your book teleport to the infernal place using the map go ahead bank your lantern if you want to i'm going to do that keynote do not do what I do here and wear items. Do not wear items into this place. Um, 
wearing items is just it's a pain in the butt because for one of the things you cannot wear items so don't be like me and wear items it's really stupid so um, go ahead and talk to the gargle you can bring one or two items to wear but just don't bring anything besides that fake mask talk to the start gargoyle go to the one straight ahead click on the little portal and you'll see a coin just click it again and you'll interact with the gargoyle he wants bacon it said give him some bacon hit yes let him wake up finish the chat option with you each of them gets a hint gives a hint towards another one but the order's all messed up. Just follow me and I'll get for you the right one. So then go right and or west and go to the Libra portal. The Libra portal. For this one, it's going to say the portal is not working. I wonder why. Go to your emotes and hit the blow a raspberry emote. It's right to right of blow a kiss. Then the portal will work. When you teleport, blow raspberry again, and then the gargoyle will wake up, hit interact. If you hit interact without blow, doing it again, you won't do anything. So you gotta do it again when you get in there. And there you go, it's gonna work. The next one is gonna be frog spawn. So if you have that in your inventory, you're good to go, not an issue. You just click on that portal, it'll work fine. This portal, you don't have to do anything to make it work. And then, it's going to do the same thing as it did with the bacon where it's going to say give it to him yes no and you're just going to hit yes give it to him so again if you have that chaos star that's very helpful add that to your tool belt but you know otherwise not that big of a deal you can delete i would you have to keep for now keep these uh coins but when it comes to the pages you can delete you can um destroy them just read them and destroy them and they'll be added to your archaeology book it may look like that one's impossible to reach it's not its entrance is just on a lower level so don't worry about that don't freak out just follow this white portal now go over and the next one you're going to see is going to be dragon bones so again skip that one right there it looks like you're missing out on one you're not it's just got a different entrance we'll get to it hit this yellow portal here and he's going to ask for dragon bones as usual say yes give it to him all right interact blah 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 i'm the da -da. give some dragon bones yes all right and you're going to get that go back to the portal and keep going on the next one is going to require a dog so make sure you go to customization and uh have your call your lore hound or call any dog you have you need dog not a pet a dog specifically when you go inside it will eat it and then hit interact and it's going to eat your dog um however if you have a lore hound or something look as soon as you go out of this portal it'll just come back alive so not an issue it's not gone for good if it's a cosmetic familiar don't worry see he's already back so if it's a cosmetic familiar don't freak out you'll keep it you'll keep it you're just going to eat it for a second now you're going to hit this white portal and you're going to get ready to go down a level the red portal is how you go down a level so we are going to go to level two hit that red portal and let's go down next we need the red die so hit this cancer portal right here and walk into it if you get messed up by the chaos uh, places, if it teleports you to the wrong spot, it's not an issue. Just make sure you hit our gargoyles. You have all the items in your inventory, so there are a few of the broken panels. Um, just listen to what I say to do for them, and you'll be good to go. It's pretty straightforward. So for that one, you were just giving it a red die. The next one, you need to give it the cow, the shiny cow, or the shiny bull. Make sure it's a shiny cow or shiny bull. Anything else will not work unless you have three cows, one chocolate, one strawberry, one vanilla. You need all three of those. So I just want a shiny bowl. It's the easiest. Go to World 2, Ardoin, Lodestone, and they're there. Give them the cow. Yes. There you go. 
and then going to be done that one go in the portal and go up next all right now we're going to go to this one here the tars for this one it's going to be just like the one we did earlier and the portal is not going to be working go to your emotes you're going to do an angry emote this one is in the top right of your emotes i had trouble finding it because you know i forgot where it was it's in the top right right there angry then you should be able to enter the tars portal you have to do it again remember so if you interact he's not even slightly miffed and then there you go hit the angry thing and then the gargoyle now will wake up hit interact afterwards and he will give you what you need and you can continue next is going to be uh, a lot of running so follow along go through this white portal um, this was kind of bad planning on my part, but it's not really an issue. If you get thrown around here, don't worry. Just follow your map. You'll figure out where to go. It's it's not too confusing of a place. There's three levels, top, middle, bottom layer. And there are gargoyles on every layer. So, I mean, there's a final layer, but that's not used for this. And you won't get teleported there. Go through the white portals again. Keep going through the white portals until you see the yellow portal. If you want to study this hellhound thing here to get a researcher mystery, go ahead and do that. All right, so enter the chaos portal. Keep going through these white portals. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And then this next one, you're going to see finally a yellow portal again. You're going to click on it and nothing, it's not going to work. It's going to be like the emote ones, but this one isn't an emote. So you try entering. And it says there must be a trick. For this one, you need to take one sip of your Zamrock brew, or you need to do whatever your health damage inflicting thing is. So there you go. As soon as you're damaged, you can walk inside that portal. And there you go. Now you'll be able to talk to that gargoyle. So that is all you needed there, and you are almost done. You just have three left. Now we need to go down to the bottom layer. So we're going to run all the way up. Ignore this red portal right here because if it's on the right side, it goes up. If it's on the left side, it goes down. So that one will lead you to the top layer. We want to go down a layer to the bottom one. So uh, now we're going to follow this white portal here. And you should see the red portal. I'm pretty sure it might be here. Yeah, so this red portal right here. This is the one you're going to want to take down. And the next right here. It's going to be the goblin portal. So if you're equipping anything, unequip it. Good. Everything you have must get unequipped. If you're like me and you didn't make enough space for all the things you're equipping, read and destroy all of those notes. And then you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just read and destroy all the notes. Uh, you don't really need them that much. Uh, but you need to unequip everything that you have on every single piece of equipment needs to go when that's done take what sent uh, take a sip of that goblin potion it doesn't matter what goblin you turn into you can turn into whatever goblin you want enter the aquarius portal when you get in wear your fake beard or wear one piece of armor or whatever and it'll transform you back into a human if you try talking to the gargoyle while you're a goblin it won't do anything you need to be a goblin just to get to him. So wear something that you have. All of you should have a fake beard. so Or some sort of fake beard. So it should be fine. Then you'll transport back into a human. And he'll talk to you. After that's done. You're going to put on your beard. The next one. You need to be wearing a beard for it to work. So just put on your beard. And go to the next thing. As you can see I switched my hat to my beard there. Because I was getting ready for this portal. Keep going along. And then you see my inventory. I deleted those notes because I need more inventory slots. And the, the mystery worked fine for me. So I know it works. So the Capricorn one. Again, just wear your beard. Talk to the gargoyle. He'll wake up. And you have one left. Then go out. This last one, you need 37 prayer for. Because you need to use a protection prayer. So if you go in here and you click on it, 
you're going to get the coin, but then it's going to say it doesn't work, just like the ones we've seen before. Just go to your prayers and hit protection. I did protect for melee. I don't think it really matters. So throw your protection prayers on. Enter the Sagatorius portal and talk to the gargoyle. And there you go. He will give you the last thing you need. And achievement complete. Contract clause mystery solved. So now all you have left to do is dag and buy. And you have unlocked ancient summoning. I hope this guy has helped you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be here for you guys. Uh, other than that, I have a video on the dag and buy mystery coming out soon. So it'll probably be out when you see this. Uh, this one is very important. Get ancient summoning as quick as you can. This one is very quick. It takes like two minutes. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys later.